and use the word Nigerians like it's everybody. I don't submit, I don't support crime. If anybody commit crime, it should be hand over to the authority and the authority should do what is necessary. But what I think is not right is when you put, you generalize it Nigerians. There are a lot of Nigerians in South Africa who are doing well, who have companies. Do you know them? Do you know yeah, them? Do you know what companies those? they have? I also want to ask him a few questions. I, I, okay. I, I, would, I want to ask him a few questions. Okay, um, my sister, go ahead. Where's the law? Where's no, law? answer this one no, first. No. Which one? Yeah, answer that one first. Which of the question? Which? I'm asking you. Where are your brothers? Who are they? And what Don't companies you know, are they running? Do you know the yeah. companies that they are running? The businesses that they are running? Yeah, this is where you get it wrong, my my dear sister. When Why you say is it my that that's brother, what I'm getting wrong? But you want to say, say what brothers. you want to say and it's right. No, I'm coming. You say my brothers. So you are generalizing it like they are my relation. The people you are talking about who are in South Africa. I don't know nobody in South Africa. I never be to South Africa. You get me? So when you generalize it and say your brothers, it's like you are talking about the full Nigerians. We are talking about all of them. We are talking about all of them that are here in South Africa. Yeah, 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 so yeah, when I, yeah. if you're in South Africa, yeah. you are not in South Africa, you shouldn't be feeling the pain. Because we know the people that are here in South Africa, they look good on the outside. But then when you dig deeper, you find the rot. You, they, got, they got runner boys that are doing all the dirty work for them. They hide behind high walls and, and, and suburbs where you don't really find them. But we know, we see we've got neighbors on this group. There's so many of us that are moderators. We talk to each other. There are there are intelligent people on these groups. We see all of these things. How do you think government knows about the march that we are going to do on the 23rd to demonstrate our frustration with illegal foreigners in this land? You think we just? You, you think they just sniffed it that um, that the people of South Africa want to march? No. We even have politicians that are listening to you as you speak now. Okay, let me answer your question. There was a time, there was a time that some doctors left Nigeria to South Africa to go and work in South Africa. Will you accuse of those doctors that they are committing crimes? Yes. Well, yes. Mm, majority of them are. So, hold on. I'm going to ask, I'm gonna ask our doctor here to answer. We've got a doctor. She's a, a scientist. She's going to answer. Doctor, please answer him. Dr. Mo. I'm going to answer him and I'm going to say this with my full chest. Yes, they are committing a whole lot of ill things are happening because of them. I'm going to tell I'm just going to tell you one thing. You know, I love this because I had this conversation with a Mzungu from South Africa, but he moved a couple of years ago. He said to me, currently, I would not even go to a South African hospital because of those foreigners who are in your hospitals. Exactly. That's what he said. And yes, they are committing a whole lot of crimes. They are giving their brothers, and you said you don't want to be labeled as their brothers because they are not your relatives. However, with us, these are my brothers and my sisters. My South African people are my brothers and my sisters because we are fighting for the same cause. Even when we are not fighting, we would always be related simply yeah. because we are from one county. And then now, let me tell you something. Your brothers, whether you take it or not, it's neither here nor there. Your brothers actually take some of the medications from hospitals to give to these people to do illegal you know what I'm going to say, um, terminations, right? That's the one thing that I'm going to say. Another thing that they've been doing, there is a syndicate. They found someone who's been working with someone else in the hospitals, taking ARVs and giving them to other people out there. So, yes, they are contributing to the crime rate of South Africa. And I wanted to ask you a question while I'm still, while I, before I forget. 
When yeah. you said uh, you so, us, uh, so you before said you answer my question, before before you answer, ask me uh, the question you want to ask me, I just have this to tell you. There are South Africans in other places in Nigeria. Does it mean when one South Africa person do something wrong, then the people have to generalize it that is all South exactly. Africa. Please, 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 and it's not a majority only in South Africa. It's a majority all over the world. I'm talking about places like, you know how quiet Malaysia is? But Malaysians will tell you about Nigerians. Do you know how quiet people, you know, even in Asia, that's why we are generalizing. Because South Africa is not the only country that's complaining about Nigeria. 25 countries don't want Nigeria. And you guys, instead of looking internally and saying, maybe we are doing something wrong, you're saying, no, they're generalizing. You always come up with these excuses. And you, my brother, one, have never been in South Africa. Two, you, you don't stay in Nigeria. Three, you stay in Germany, which means you don't understand the socioeconomic problems that are happening in South Africa right now because of your brothers and your sisters. But yet somehow we are wrong, whereas most countries don't even want your people because of the... Almost every country is complaining, yet everyone else is a problem except you guys. Also, when he says things like there's Nigeria, South Africans living in Nigeria, I don't even think the numbers are the same. I don't even think it's something that you can <laughs> even compete with. Just by the virtue of Nigerians leaving Nigeria, it will tell you that obviously Nigeria is not a, a, a living, a, like as a livable place. If Nigerians, they themselves want to leave Nigeria by hook or crook, swimming across the ocean, do you think an average South African will just go to Nigeria not knowing what to do in Nigeria? Most South Africans who actually go on to Nigeria, it's based on projects and it isn't a big number. That, that you can't even compare the two. I don't see any South African waking up, forcing themselves to actually be here uh, to go to Nigeria. They go there for reason, and I'm sure they don't go there to stay there forever. I can bet you a million bucks. I don't think South Africans are a problem in Nigeria at all. So is that the question you uh, you have for me? No, she was. That was her submission okay so but the actual fact is that what what i want to say is this normally we all here on this platform we came to share ideas to learn from each other but i don't think it doesn't make sense when we start shouting or insulting each other like we are not matured i think it doesn't look matured can i answer you there can i come in um nobody insult wait 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 slow nobody insulted you you just had our doctor our good doctor give you facts that you were not ready to receive so then you want to flip the script on us and then you want to say you were insulted actually you've been treated with no sorry I didn't say nobody insulted you no, I didn't say somebody insulted me. You used the word. I asked you a simple question that the doctors who are in South Africa working, you decided to use, you say all of them are committing crime. Yes, and our doctor <laughs> gave you the examples of it. And then, how then many you doctors, come up. How many, doctors, how many doctors you see that are committing crime? And how many doctors have you reported to the... have a huge number of Nigerian doctors, by the way, in SA. Oh. Most of them... And also another thing, most of them actually do have some faith qualifications. So, so you just, just so you know that so that when you go on the next slide, you kind of understand that the doctors that claim to go to SA to save SA, most of them they get busted in SA or around the world. So, uh, maybe when they leave the, when they leave um, 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 Nigeria, you guys are so proud. But when they actually get caught overseas. We actually catch them out and we do realize that they actually have fake qualifications. So uh, don't boast about things you don't actually know. You, good morning. Wait, boyfriend. 
Um, so Westlaw, so nobody was being rude to you. Nobody on this platform is rude. We state the obvious, just like you said that your brother RK was stating the facts. Stating facts about Zuma being um, being taken out of power because of the white man, we agree with that. There's no fact that he had mentioned that we did not agree with. But the one thing that we will not tolerate is ignorance and arrogance. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me answer that one. Uh, the guy, I think he's from uh, Zimbabwe. Or the, I don't yes. remember. Yes, yeah. from Zimbabwe. He, he lives in South Africa and he understands what is going on in South Africa. And he decided to kind of say the reality. But the way you people attack him, especially when he talk about the politics, you people don't want him to interfere with the politics and you people don't want him to talk anything wrong that's, with that's that's not what we said we were saying to him most of the people um said to him why are you talking about south african politics when your own country is struggling why don't you go and focus in your own country and what about the politics in your own land you will not find a south african going to nigeria and want to find out about tinubu being an ex powder Nigerian in overseas and then he ran away from 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 law enforcement agencies and blah 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 that's not our business because it got nothing to do with us we are saying what we said to him is that he needs to focus on his country how to build his country and he said he's not that type of a guy he's a selfish kind of a person he puts himself first before anybody else which we then respected so we didn't fight with him any further we then engaged him and we don't want you to be invited in this into this battle because we know that you want you you want to pull the Zimbabwe and so in your battle you want to front them because they are vulnerable we are, we are, we are giving them a, a, a batter here you want you want them to lose the focus <laughs> you want them to lose focus and started powdering your kit i um, started taking and lacing your your kit here's the thing lacing i'm talking about powder being put in the streets that you buy for your kids like candy that you buy for your kids and then you you and then next thing you hear let's say you have a daughter and you hear that your daughter has been trafficked or is um has been turned into a powder mole and or has been abused or has been turned into whatever things they turn them into would you still want to sit down and be civil with the person who's doing that to your kids Okay, let me answer the. Uh, your, what was your first your first question? Your first question was, uh, I came online. I was talking about uh, we as an African people we have to come together as one. That was yes, your first question. Please, 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 please sit down and have conversations. Yes, and I was emphasizing on no, boyfriend Wade, Wade, boyfriend D. Thank you. Um, you were talking about the fact, I, I was just emphasizing on the fact that you mentioned things about um, being uh, sitting down and talking and you um, quote unquote going against one, one people, one type of people or the people who are the main causes of the powder pandemic, right? And I was just, I was just leading to the question of me saying, if those things were happening to you by some, someone did that to you, would you still want to be civil? And I'm not going to look at the bigger picture, the people who are manufacturing and whatnot and whatnot that you want me to, to digress to. I'm talking about um, the Nigerians that are there and are doing those things. Since I'm asking you that if the very same thing was happening to, you, happening to you personally, in your line, your kids right now, the ones that you gave birth to, your, your wife gave birth to, would you still want to be civil and have proper conversations with that person or you would actually want to do something to that person okay you get me wrong when i said we should have conversation i didn't say you should go and have conversation with the people who are doing bad things you get me how is what i mean we as an african people we should have conversation like what the problem does we have you get but me? why only you? now, Westlaw? Where were you a month ago? When you... that, if that was the case, if things were happening to him, would you still want to sit and have a conversation with the criminal? Nah, if those things were happening to your kids, no, Angela, we burn them alive. You would what? 
Burn them alive. That's what I'm saying. But somehow these people, but these people want us to sit down and okay. have conversations with the same people who are who are analyzing our Boyfriend, I'm gonna come to you now, boyfriend. I'm gonna come to you now. Give you a chance to speak. I'll give you a chance to speak next, boyfriend. Please be patient with me, please. So, so what do you mean, um, West? Hence, I'm asking you, if it was personally happening to you, you still haven't answered my question. Would okay, you still me want to sit down and have a conversation with those people? Let me answer your question. As we are having the, the conversation, you told me that they are politicians. You are walking You're not country. answering my question. No, my question is... I'm coming. I'm answering your question. question. Oh, yes or no? You don't have to go around and give me explanations. If you if you want me to answer your question like that, should I go and kill the person? I'm not looking at the fact that there are people who are willing to go on a flimsy boat, you know, and cross countries to get to Europe. And then you start getting the magnitude of how bad things are in Nigeria. Not the Nigerians, though. Huh? It, 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 it's proof of it that across not only Nigeria that across but that across some uh, river. That's just to be specific. Yeah, I'm just saying uh, like, like some of them are willing to do that, and that that speaks volumes, you know, of what uh, the 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 psychological state is. No, life, life is sad, yes, Life life is sad, yes. So maybe I don't know if things are really difficult the way it is in Nigeria. Maybe you cross, but life is sad in Nigeria. To be honest. You know, to be very honest with you, and not it's not our fault. It's the politicians. <laughs> yes, and and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying life is so difficult in Nigeria that it has affected the citizens to that extent. Where as soon as you leave the country, it's all about what you can benefit. We are not a people like that. You know, mm -hmm. whenever we look at women, we we look at women. Okay, fine, we have our issues with with our men, you know, and GBV and all that stuff. But a hey, hey, like a like a, a typical South African man doesn't look at a woman and think of what he can benefit, you know? So it's, it's,